Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Stone Block 2. Today we're going to be making this machine behind me, the Stonework Factory, and a mob farm. Check it out. Yeah, we're going to get some loot. Let's do this. Alrighty, so we're today we're going to work on the mob farm down there. Some plastic automation going on over here. So we want to make stonework factories and stonework factories. I got a little bit of stuff here. I don't worry. We'll go over this in a second. Stonework factory takes pink slime to get the pink slime. You need to kill a pink slime spawn when placing some pink slime fluid to get this pink slime fluid. You need a mob crusher mob slaughter factory. This one here. So we have some stuff set up in here to make the mob slaughter factory. We need the steel casing, so we need osmium and steel. So let's get some steel. I'm just gonna make a few. Because why not? We need our glass and our lapis. Nope. Uh, I should have had all this laid out. All right. Let's see. Mob slaughter or yeah, mob slaughter factory. We need plastic. Ooh. So we need tree fluid extractor so we need stone stone iron gear and a furnace let's make some iron gears what the heck is going on here make 16 iron gears okay one two three of those yes we need a latex processing unit so we need oh we need some more iron casings before we finish that i want to show you this guys so i did the black quartz panels uh structure ducts structure ducts are super simple to make lead and tin i believe uh and then you just put the block with it and since we are getting black quartz out of this i went and did that put some glow glowing glass here and with the same black there and then we'll go over there in a minute a little bit later um i had to do a little stuff because this was getting clogged up. So what I had to do is put pipes to each one of those. That took a long time to do. And then each one of these has to have a filter with with the item that's that drawer. So if you put it all to the drawer controller, what happens is it gets locked up and backed up. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, Super Turtle mentioned one of the reasons why I might have had needed so many of these furnaces not only is they're spread out is because um the transfer limit so that might be a thing but we're looking pretty good on our power pretty soon we'll be moving that into its own room after that episode when i set up the soul sand i went ahead and did an auto sieve so we can get nether quartz 23.7 thousand nether quartz and we also got some gas tears we're gonna need one of those uh, we're gonna need two of those let's finish making what we were making um tree fuel extractor we need this is all stuff we need later um i need these there we go we just need one um we're gonna be making a mob duplicator uh later because we need more than one pink slime and the pink slimes take a little while to get. So we're gonna use our first pink slime and we're gonna put him in a mob duplicator and spawn him and it'll be it'll be nice. Uh, we need a crafter. Make one of those. We need two redstone torch eye, two crafting tables, and then we can make our crafter tier one. Uh, one of those and a block placer pretty simple stuff we need this 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 we need a trash can too uh trash can all we want from this is the logs because the logs are going to be put into this block placer which is going to be broken down by these uh tree fluid extractors put in the latex processing unit put into there and then into this so we're gonna need to make some power cells uh, i think that's it so let's look at power cells all one word we need some more machine chats frames 
Okay, so how do we make that? Can we make some? One, two, three, four. I think we'll do it. Uh, we want to make some of these upgraded ones too, so we need to make... Oh, we need those prismarine shards. Uh, prismarine shards are pretty simple to get with an atomic reconstructor. You just toss it in the nether quartz and boom. So I did that. Uh, let's make one, two, three, four of those. Now to get... I do have my diamonds. To get this one, you need to put your diamonds here. You take your dimensional shards, which you can get from the mining dimension, and boom. There's that. Now we can make two of those. Now we need to make the filters, these power cards, which is gold. Do I have all that on me? Paper. Paper. Uh, boink. Boink. Three. Oh, no. I need one more. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme the paper. Can we make more? Oh, we need more gold. Okay. We're going to throw one of these guys right here. Right click it. We're going to go in. We're going to take one of these. Boom. Then we're going to take these guys and link. So now this is a uh, link there. So linked ID. And now we're going to come over here. We're going to save this one for later. So what we want the finished product to be is I'm just going to put it right here. This is not going to stay this way. Um, this needs... Oh, I'm going to need more than that. Um, no. This is not going to stay uh, this way, but I'll come up with a better uh, solution later. That's going to go there. This is going to be the plastic. This is the final result. Now we can just grab a bunch of coal. Seven. Because I have them all in here. I have them all in there. Okay. 64 will be enough for now. And we can upgrade this to power. We could actually put a redstone furnace here. Ooh. Yeah, this is fast. I like this is fast. This is really fast. So we need to come up here. And we need to go like this. And then... That's going to be coming out of a crafter, which also takes power. That. And we'll set that recipe up in a minute. Then we'll put covers on this too. That needs to go into the latex processing unit. We're just going to throw that there. Uh, there we go. Nope. That is the tree fluid extractor. So that is the latex processing unit. This, I don't think, can be extracted. So we're just going to do this. Boom. We'll put power underneath. Uh, where's my leadstone ducts here? There we go. I've been busy making uh, all the pipes and stuff for all the needs because it's a pain in the butt and so i'll just throw a bunch of stuff in here go afk it makes it and then i do all the stuff to get this <sighs> multitasking all right so now we need the tree fluid extractors so we need the uh let's do our bonsai pot oh we do need a chest all right let's put the chest down Okay, that's a trash can. That's a chest. Let's put our bonsai pot on top. Put the dirt on top of that. that that's going to have to go there. Uh, our sapling. So what's going to happen? We're going to get all the oak and stuff in here. We need to take out this way. We need to put a servo on that. And we're going to blacklist logs because we should... Uh, blacklist logs and whitelist logs that's the only thing we got to do so this way we're going to blacklist logs going this way we're going to throw a trash can down we're going to whitelist logs this way that should work so logs will come in here everything else will go in the trash because we don't need it we don't need it. 
So what we need to do is place the block, place her down, and that's going to get logs in here. And we take our tree fluid extractors, which don't require power. And we're going to turn this one around. In, in, in. Yep, okay. So the block placer places it down. These guys will fill up with the tree fluid. And I need my... Uh, Blah, 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 these guys. All right. So these guys will fill up with that. And we need servos on those. I think we're going to do that anyway. All right. Next, that is going to be piped into here. Uh, we need water. Oh, we need water. Okay. Oh, boy. Place the sink yeah, right there. Why not? And then point, point, and you get a servo. You get a servo, and you get a servo, and you all get servos. We're gonna hook that up so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. And that's an automated plastic. So what's gonna happen is these guys are gonna go into here. Then they should go into here. Oh, we need power. <laughs> All right, so we're going to place this guy right there. Then we're going to go out, and we're going to take one of these and put there. Don't shift click because it'll clear it. All right, so now you have power. You're making the plastic. Plastic is being pumped into here. So we'll take this, go recipe, and go like that. Because you need the dry rubber. So, and then that applies. That's going to go here. Once we get nine, eight, we should be seeing another one pop up. It goes and point, and it goes down to there, and we get a plastic. Plastic, we need two of those. So, let me get this. Uh, let me get a few plastics, and then we'll move on to the. What are we at? Uh, it's the Mob Slaughter Factory. Yay! All right. Be right back. All right. So I waited and got a little bit of plastic. Got my gold gear. I also turned off my journey map because we really don't need it. I mean, if we need it for like mobs and stuff uh, for ID them, then we can turn it back on. But I got tired of looking through it to see everything. So I was just like, whatever. It's gone. All right. Mob slaughter factory. Boom. All right. Let's take this down here. And place it right there. We're gonna break underneath it. Uh, I said we're gonna break underneath it, and then we're gonna put our power cell. Power cell goes there. We're gonna place out. We're gonna place one card in there, and we got yay. Now we need a few things for this. So we need to come up here, and we need to go to two different drums. So we need drums, and I should have made that before I placed that down. Because that get, these will give you two things. Um, they give you meat and pink slime. So we're going to make some drums. So we need two. I already had all this ready. Uh, like this. And two cauldrons in the middle. Gives us iron drums. And do I have my bucket on me? Because we're going to need that. So what we're going to do, we're going to set down one bucket first. I'm going to need in here. Uh, do I not have... I do have stone on me. Good. Alright, let's block this off. Because we're going to need to get in there. We're I mean, going to need to uh, let's do that. We're going to need a dark room for mobs to spawn. Okay, that's there. So let's get this. Boom. Boom. Dark room. Now the only thing you can get from this guy is pink slime. So he has two tanks there. You can get pink liquid meat and pink slime. Um, those are the only two things you get from this. You don't get you don't get uh, items or anything. All right, let me put all this stuff away. Give that a few minutes. Once that gets the meat and pink slime in the system, uh, then we can put down the other barrel and then we'll filter it. So. I'll be back in just a few minutes. So it's been like two seconds. I forgot to do something. I'll show you. Um, 
See that guy? We forgot to put a rage hat on because the working area is only ah no 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 I'm gonna die I'm gonna die get away get away get away you see that working area there um yeah so we need a range add on uh range add on to make these a couple plastic diamonds yeah so let's add that um i also added and, and now you can see it's the full room it's actually bigger i believe all right while that's doing it i also added some speed stuff i don't think it's gonna matter but these speed upgrades you need to make this pretty simple uh you need to make two of these because to make this one uh, recipe you need the the first one and you can only have two you can't make it any faster and initially i had made i kept these because i just didn't want to craft them again uh you have to have the first one in it to have the second one in there so now it will go and it will kill i don't have to wait for um the bad guys to like wander in there so let me uh wait a little bit for that to work and we'll bring you back in just a minute all right so i've been letting this run for a little bit we need a bucket uh i have some other stuff in here which we'll get to in a second um bucket bucket i use my bucket i need another bucket uh the bucket there's this bucket all right so what we're gonna do we got some pink slime and we got some meat so we need to put servo in this I don't know why I'm doing this because we really don't need to. We're not going to have this here for very long. And then this, this is just a way if you want to keep it separated, that way you guys can know. Yeah. And now you know. All right. So that will always only get pink slime. So if we drain this, if it has one bucket, um, then it will just, it, it'll only accept pink slime is what I'm trying to say. All right, so now we'll just put that down there. It will spawn a slime here in a second. Then we can murder his face. While we're waiting on that guy to spawn, what we want, we're not gonna, actually, we're not gonna murder his face. We're gonna, we're gonna save him. We're gonna imprison him. Oh, look, there he is. All right, let's do this. So we need a mob imprisonment tool. First, we need, um, to make a mob imprisonment tool, we need magma cream. Get magma cream, you get some rice, from rice you just oh geez okay okay come on i'm excited uh rice you get from rice seeds which you can get sifting dirt and i have sifted a lot of dirt so i got a lots of different seeds um then i placed down some uh, dirt grew farms and did things three oh geez three rice equals two rice dough okay then you put that in there with water and boom there's that now you got your rice slime balls now you put that oh hi little guy okay there's that you also need this machine case which is for ironing its planks and that okay now we can come up here and finish this recipe off get our mob duplicator and for the mob duplicator you need a mob imprisonment tool you get the gas here from sifting soul sand put some plastic in there boom i don't know why i made two but i made two you know what buddy you know what buddy boom yeah yeah that's right that's right and like i said i don't know why I wasted my time with that because now this is gone. Okay. This is gone. We don't need this anymore. We're going to light this back up for a minute. This is going to go... Uh, is this center? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So that's four, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's center. Okay, so this is going to go right there right click on here we put the mob in there you can see we got the pink slime all right now we need to take this down this is where it gets tricky yes it's tricky we're gonna do this because right here we're gonna put a mob slaughter factory is that right not mob slaughter factory mob crusher all right so we need fluid pipes 
Oh, first we need power under here. Uh, power. Power. Uh, let's get you power. Okay. Now you have power. Sweet. Now if you show the working area, boom, it's going to spawn right there. Okay. Turn that off. Now we need fluid. Uh, we need... Um, fluid. I'm going to run this down because I want it to be buried. And we'll put some stone covers over that. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. And then one more. Now let's go make our other thing. Now let's make the mob crusher. Boom. Okay. Let's put the book in there. Let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. That in there. That in there. That in there. We don't need those. We do need these. We don't need those. We're going to use these. Um, we don't need that. We could use this. Uh, where's those stone covers? I had stone covers. Oh, they're on me. So I covered up a few of these. I just wanted to show you. So uh, stone covers real quick. Structural ducts is what you need. And iron and lead. So it's not tin, it's iron. Okay, boom, boom, and boom. You see a stone cover there and a stone cover there. If we go around the other side, you can see they're just covered. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now we're going to go place this guy down. This is going to be the cool thing. And then we turn you around. Um, so what's going to happen is mobs are going to spawn in here. This guy will take fluid essence to uh, spawn whatever mob you have in your imprisonment tool. You need essence and power. So it pulls the essence from there and it's going to go into there. All right. Now we needed a cover on that. This guy is the same it's all industrial foregoing so it can take the same add-ons and if we show the working area boom okay the only thing that this needs uh outside of that is a chest oh we need oh mm, ah ooh, e uh mm, hmm <clears throat> i wonder because what's going to happen is i'll show you if we put this here Put that there break these and let's pretend like we're sealing it up let's seal ourselves in here real quick the light the light is coming from that block hmm. that's okay that's all right it's just it just lowers our chance of mob spawning is all uh let's put you back up here i need another servo and a chest and we're just going to toss this guy right there and throw our servo right there. And oh, look, we got torches. Oh, clay loops. Yay. So we're already getting stuff. Sweet. So this should be about ready to spawn. It should be spawning pink slime any minute. Now, if you guys can wait to do your pink slime this way, it's a lot better. Um, that way you're not having to sit there and craft all that or wait to get all that pink slime in the buckets from your mob slaughter factory. You just get one. That's all you need is one. And then you get a mob imprisonment tool, then you can duplicate. And it is, is fantastic. All right, we're going to throw all this back in here. Oh, we need this for later. Uh, we need that. We need that. We need that. Um... And again, like I said, I did this all once before. That's why this is linked ID2, not one. Uh, let's open this clay. Yay. Got clay. Those clay ones can honestly be junked. Oh, we need the string. We never know when we need string. Uh, experience are cool. All right, so we, did have, we do have some quests while we're waiting on the pink slime. <clears throat> so I did go to the end, but I haven't done anything. I just went to the end. I... I to get to the end you got to go all the way to the mining dimension and then you got to do that again to get to the end you just go up to the top of the mining dimension so i did that off camera did not mean to go into the end but those ladders if you're not careful go super fast super fast um let's go down 
and I just happened to pop through. And then so I just came home. So let's collect that. Double air capacitors, those are gonna come in handy. Um you guys saw all my storage upgrades. We need to oh, climbing gloves again. Alright, the other one we have is the fluid cow, which you guys saw that I got from the thing, which is a water cow. Oh boy. Three hoppers, super. Alright, let's put these cool things up. The climbing gloves, bye bye. Uh those go in there. Let's see what we got. Do we have any pink slime? Boom. Oh, look at that. Three stack, two and a half stacks already. We don't need that much. And then we got all these. Cool. So let's open up. We don't want the clay anymore because we got automated clay. Let's open these up. We got uncommon loot. So, ooh, ender lilies. Those are nice. Chicken bait. We don't need the bait. We don't need the feathers. We don't need the helmet. We don't need that. We are getting those. Don't really need that purple i'll keep those not doing chance cubes that's what rune stone block one uh iron tier we could use that and we got another fluid cow so we have another cow a water candle super all right let's open up the common so we let's put these all down here uh let's do this okay that was that we have nine of these Oh, we got some more chickens. See, this is this is how I got all of their stuff. So we don't need this. We don't need that. We need those. Uh, we don't need the bones. We don't need that. And we don't need that. I'll keep the name tag. Ooh, the name tag. <gasps> I don't have. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Anvil. Uh, anvil name tag uh it's uh hang on be right back okay i think i spelt it right i hope so uh this guy <laughs> we got a super turtle work boy work oh you want power okay we'll give you power uh where where can we get the power there we go. Um, power. Um, out. And boom. Work! Work for me, my minions. These guys should all be working. Yep, okay. <laughs> it gets a speed boost if you feed them these apples. So we got Super Turtle working for us. So all you do is name tag uh, whatever name, uh, in-game name that you want, Super Turtle. So if you guys want me, working for you in my butcher outfit like this without the googly eyes it's just psychotic butcher same as my youtube channel feel free to use it put me to work for you i don't care and if you do tag me in a twitter post or instagram post i want to see it i would love to see it okay so we got some eggs let's go ahead and drop those off oh sear bricks okay okay um let's put our slime boots on uh mob drops i can go in there sure why not that goes in the food oh inventory we need we need we need we need um storage all right epic rare let's open up the rare a mana pool Ooh. we can do botania and item filters for extra utilities sweet those will come in handy let's see what we got in our epic Two item barrels. Very nice. That will go right handy with these iron tier upgrades. All right. So we did that. Now we can make a stonework factory. I just wanted to see what we got out of that. So stonework fac material, stonework factory. Uh, lava and water and stonework factory. If you guys don't know what these are, stonework factory is really cool. So you set it down. You give it power. Uh, let's go give it power. <laughs> okay so real quick give it power it automatically starts making cobblestone that is the first thing it does these here these are the inputs and outputs for your energy your energy items i honestly don't know what goes in there if anybody knows please let me know 
This again is industrial foregoing, so you can use those speed and power upgrades here if you wish. I would not suggest using speed on this, it's already fast enough. This is your input and output for this first slot, which is your cobble. If you don't want to export that, turn them off. Okay. The next thing is your next one and next one and next one and so forth. Now what you can do, okay, let's do always active on redstone signal only. You can furnace it. It will make stone. Okay. You can two by two craft. It'll make you crafting tables. Okay. You can grind it. That will grind it into gravel. And you can do the same thing all the way down. Uh, three by three craft. Oh, look, compressed. So you can compress cobblestone. Okay, so we want to grind it into, we want to grind it into gravel. So our gravel, say we want to export that. And I'll show you this in a minute. So we want to grind that down and that grinds it into sand. And the same for sand, you can smelt it and you get glass into this one. So we want to make sand and then we want to grind that down and that'll make dust. And I don't know, I don't exactly know what you could do with this. Let's see, can you smelt it? Can you two by two craft it? How about grind it? You can make silicone. So you can do this to have silicone or you can do compressed dust. So yeah, so you can choose which output you want to use uh, this for. Um, but I didn't show you my ore production side of it for a reason. Like I said, I have done this already and I already set this up. I didn't want to redo it and do it again on camera. So what we have over here are three stonework factories. I also put down my garden cloche I got in like episode one or two. That's where I was getting all, the, all of this sugar cane for all my books and all my filters. This is where it was coming from. So it's just growing. It's doing its thing. Um, and then it exports here and it's all set up automatic. So yeah. Uh, let's put our gravel in there. So this stonework factory, <clears throat> we're grinding down the cobble into gravel, gravel into sand. And if you look at this, uh, output for the cobble there, I'm pointing at my screen is turned off. Output for the gravel is turned off. Output for the sand is out the front. Sand goes into a round robin on the filter into here, which I think, yeah, it's all filled up and then into here. This one is getting the gravel, so the uh, uh, cobble slot is blocked off out of the front for gravel, and it's doing the same thing for gravel. This guy here is going all the way down to dust, uh, so you see that's all turned off, and on the orange, which is the output where the dust comes in right there, out the front, and it's doing the same thing into this here, and then into back there. So this always stays full, and this is also my clay automation. So I have a sink back here, right there. So um, it's taking out of this box. So this is puts it into the box, box into there, it box into there. Or out of the box into this uh, barrel and then out back into the system. Uh, that's a lot. It's a lot, of, a lot of spaghetti wiring, but I like it. It looks, I think this looks good. Um, this is a little janky and we don't need much more clay. So I might just tear this down, uh, the clay production. The sugar cane is going to stay there until I get a garden cloche room. But yeah, so that is the mob slaughter factory and stonework factory and the mob crusher in a nutshell. So I have these two chests over here. I wasn't going to show you guys, but I need in there. So like I said, I recorded this episode once already. This is everything I saved it. So all the plastic I've gotten from going AFK from a plastic setup. So I have lots of plastic already. I already made all this stuff already. So we made more power cells. We made more, another mob duplicator, which we really don't need. We need, we made another one of these. So I've already done that before. Uh, and then we got all of these common loop crates and uncommons and oh my gosh, let's open up the epics and the legendaries because those are cool. I went AFK for a very long time, like a day, day and a half. 
Um, this is what I kept out of it. And I could have swore I had... Uh, I did have... I don't know where it went. I had an end... Uh, there it is. An ender tether. So this ender tether is going to be really nice. Um, we're going to use it... Oh no, you know what? Oh... I need... Hmm. All right, all right, I need that. I need, I need this, and I need one of these. Because um, we're not done with this yet. I think I'll leave it there because if I ever want a specific mob, um, let's get rid of you. Uh, if I ever want a specific mob, I can just plop it in here and be good to go. And I really should make some tinker tools. I really, I really should. So, ender tether there, and that's because we can actually go to the end. I want to get into ender IO, and I want to do it like now. Um, because this as as fun as this stuff is, and I want other ender IO because you can put power, fluid, and items all in one block if you use ender io whereas these pipes as cool as they are and as cool as they look you can see fluid and stuff you can't do that uh you have to have each one of these has its own block so i'm going to leave that in there for now because we can use that uh when we get the enderman okay almost there and plink. here we go to the end. That was a mining dimension we were just in. I just didn't want to waste the time while you guys watching me climb those ladders. Alright, so now we're in the end and it's loading in. Okay, so this is yeah. So I'm gonna do uh set home three. So now I can hit home three, which will take me to the end. You can name that whatever you want. I just do one, two, three, whatever. Just because it's easy. Okay, let's bust this out a little bit. We need a spot where <gasps> I don't need those because yeah. We'll have to look into that later. So, all this is is a few ores scattered and like that. Resonant Ender. Oh, get away from me. Um, get away from me. We look at it's going to teleport that stuff. Um, we can put this in a magma crucible and get Resonant Ender. Perfect. Um, while I'm here, give me that. Run away! Because you should teleport me, I thought. Okay, anyway. Alright, let's clear out a spot. We just need Enderman to spawn. That should be good. Let's uh, let's do this again. I watched Super Turtle make an Enderman farm just like this. And all he had is a two, uh, two high here. And then the Enderman would come running at him. And he'd whack him with his sword. We're going to one-up that. We're going to do withers, or not withers, excuse me, Enderman automated. I want to automate it. I don't want to have to whack them with my sword to get the pearls. I want to get the pearls by themselves. I, I don't want to have to do anything. I just want to get them. Why? Because I can. All right. Oh, no. Oh, a little bit of, a little bit of lag. Okay, so we're going to go this way. This See, that should be far enough and then we're gonna because I don't want Enderman spawning back here where I'm at because that's no bueno now we should be getting them do we need to go further do we need to go further alright I'm gonna bust this out of ways and then I'll bring you guys back in once some Enderman spawning so I was mining and I turn around and look at that we got Enderman all we need is one. Come here. Thank you. Uh, home one. See how simple that is? A home. The home thing is so simple. All right. Okay. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Um. So we got a little bit of binstone here. What can we? Where can we put this? Aha. We can put it right there. All right. Let's go down here. Let's bust our way in here. Should be fine. Now this ender tether, what this ender tether does 
you guys don't know. It will prevent Intermen within a certain distance from teleporting away. Any teleportation attempts will warp them to the tether. Also prevents other forms of inter teleportation. So like shulkers and stuff. So there's that. And there's that. And boom. Look at that. Instant ender pearls. Watch. Maybe. Maybe. Ah! Instant ender pearls. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun. We got a lot of stuff done. And I got googly eyes. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. Please, I've noticed a lot of people watching my videos are not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Join us. Join us. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.